Eating old or expired food is extremely dangerous. We do this at home, but you shouldn't. We got some really good news because I kind of prepared for this. I knew the Cracker Jack was coming. Why don't you go look on that shelf right there and see what I got? Oh. These are brand new Cracker Jacks. That is a fresh box of Cracker Jacks. Well, you know, the difference between molasses and caramel, two very different. The difference between 80 years, obviously, a very big difference. Pop it open. If I eat some of that, do I get the prize? No. This isn't even a risk. <laughs> this okay. is, is brand new Cracker Jack. So you get that prize, too? Yes. Uh, fair enough. OK. Honestly, man, I'd rather throw the prize away than give it to you. That's nice. Okay. That, <laughs> that dead peanut that is currently inside my mouth and stomach, you don't deserve anything that is a prize here today. You're a heck of a guy and a great friend, but I'm not giving you this, OK? <laughs> Now right. hold out your hand and take some crack. Yeah. Check. Oh, look at that. That doesn't even look like the same thing. And, you know, there's clearly still only one peanut. <laughs> and it's one nut. Clearly, it's just the nut. The lucky peanut inside the Cracker Jack. Whenever I compare the two, like, look at the difference in color. This has to be so heavily oxidized. That's the only thing I can think. I don't think it ever naturally looked like this. I think it was probably a little more shiny like this is. But I think that molasses was a dark molasses. Oh, for I sure. I think that's why we got this much darker color than you would. It would have been darker. I, I agree with that. But I think this, like, frosty chocolate color that it has, I think that's just oxidation. Makes gives it that flat look. Or it could be that 82 years ago, they didn't have a nice shine to it. Yeah, and it was legit just sprayed with that dark molasses, and that's what we got here. You know, I thought there was going to be a huge difference in size. These all look small compared, which I, I think overall the new ones are larger. But there are kernels that are comparable. I was going to say, it's not as small as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, which yeah. I did grab the largest one off the plate. But <laughs> Looking at these, the more appetizing one is clearly the modern day caramel covered Cracker Jack. Yeah, I think so. I, th I kind of like the look of this one better. I think maybe I've just gotten used to wanting something that is shiny and caramel colored as a, supposed to a dark flat color. I can see that. Let's uh, let's both give these things a try, man. OK. The new ones. I don't think there's anything better to wash that flavor out of our mouth than a nice, fresh piece of Cracker Jack. I think that's going to cure what ails us. I agree. It's nice and sweet. It's very, very sweet. This actually had more crunch to it, which is wild. More dried out? Yeah. Cracker Jack has a very, very different taste than most every caramel corn you're going to ever have. It does have a unique flavor. It's a, it's a very original recipe, though it's changed over the years. Let's take this, put this back, okay, and take these and enjoy them. Yeah, let's go finish that box. Agreed. Hey there, what's going on? Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel right here for more eating history videos and more content from all your favorite history shows. New uploads every single day. Yep, that's it for us. We have more history to eat. See ya. Let's go eat some more.